The special forces of India refer to those units which are under the direct command of the Indian military and specifically organized, trained, and are equipped to conduct and support special operations. First, Para, Indian Army Special Forces. The unit was created in 1966 by the Indian Army. During the Indo-Pakistani War of 1965, a small ad hoc force comprising volunteers from most infantry units from North India under Maj Meg Singh of the Brigade of the Guards, operated along and behind enemy lines. The performance of this force made the powers that be sit up and take notice of the contribution and necessitated the raising of unconventional forces. Forming the nucleus of the new force from the volunteers of the then disbanded Magdut force, a battalion was raised to be part of the Brigade of Guards, but paratrooping being an integral part of commando tactics. The unit was transferred to the Parachute Regiment. Raised in July 1966, 9th Battalion, the Parachute Regiment, Commando, was the first special operations unit. Second, Marcos Indian Navy Special Forces. This unit was created in 1987 by the Indian Navy. They saw action during Operation Pwan in 1988. They were also a part of Operation Cactus in 1988. They have also been deployed in Willer Lake which was a major infiltration point for terrorists. During the 2008 Mumbai attacks, Marcos had participated in the operations along with the National Security Guards. The Marcos, which had a base in Alabag, could have been called in much earlier, but were delayed due to bureaucratic indecision. The Marcos are capable of undertaking operations in all types of terrain, but are specialized in maritime operations. The force has undertaken numerous joint exercises with special forces from around the world. Third, Garrod Commando Force, Indian Air Special Force. It is an Indian Air Force unit which was unveiled in February 2004. It primarily protects Indian Air Force installations from terrorist attacks. Garrod trainees undergo a 72-week probation training course, which is the longest among all the Indian Special Forces. The total duration of training before a trainee can qualify as a fully operational Garrod is around three years. Garrods have diverse responsibilities. Besides base protection force to protect airfields and key assets in hostile environments, some advanced Garrod units are trained like Army Para Commandos and the Naval Marcos to undertake missions deep behind enemy lines.